hell. That was a game-winning drive! A game-winning drive! And now what does it look like? You know, kind of hard to tell a little bit about the glare. Super Bowl winning drive franchise mode. Oh, Madden! I could tell you're upset. <laughs> you could have asked us to leave nicely. I didn't even want to kick you guys out. I'm just an employee. And my boss made me do it. Who's your boss? Oh, come on, don't make me Who? Busy. I'm glad I got there. I'm just kidding. After work, I'm going to kick both your asses. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Looks like you fools had one hell of a party. Congratulations, Bartowski. That's quite an achievement. And in light of today's events, I'd like to announce there's a new assistant manager amongst us. What I tell you, man, it's all coming up, Bartowski. You all remember Mr. Emmett Milbarge? Mr. Milbarge has volunteered to stay on for... Well, as long as it takes. <laughs> That's right, Michael. I'm afraid this branch is sick, and not the kind of sick that can be fixed with a Band-Aid. What this buy more needs requires a surgeon. Someone who doesn't mind getting up to their elbows and guts. <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reach in, wrap my fingers around the disease, and rip it out. As you already know, we nearly lost our dear leader today. And to what? One tiny little carb-filled donut. Please, we lost Big Mike to donuts years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I shudder to think how people like you would respond to an actual catastrophe. A fire, an earthquake. An all-out race war. <laughs> and that is why Michael and I have decided to implement an emergency preparedness course. And it just so happens that one of your colleagues knew someone willing to teach it. Buenos dias, class. Hey, uh, <laughs> you sure you want to do this? Well, I love volunteer work, Chuck. Besides, CPR is a breeze. Child can learn to do it. Well, then maybe you have a shot. Uh, hey, everybody, you're in great hands. Awesome is who certified me. You might be certified, Chuck, but you still have to take the test like everyone else. Let's go, Romeo. Time for your big date. CIA is wasting a lot of tax dollars. To make look. How's my breath? Like the ocean. My eye, Captain. Are you kidding me? Everybody in this place is scoring. Chuck's on to his second lady. What do we got? Nothing. I don't know about you, but I intend to make the most out of the seeds I've been planting. What are you talking about? I'm gonna tag Anna. Are you kidding? You make me sick. I'd rather get with Morgan. Larry, what can I get for you? Lester, I want to say I was sorry to hear about you and Chuck. And if you needed someone to talk to, I'm here for you. That's very sweet. Thank you. Want to catch a movie? Grab a bite. You're asking me out a day after I broke up with your friend. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, Sarah. You know what you seem like to me? Mm -hmm. Man who knows what he wants. Oh. Sure, you know, we could go through all the motions. Coffee, movie, dinner. Or we could just skip all of that nonsense and I could just devour you right here. <clears throat> this should hold us. It's, it's an interesting uh, thought. Let me think about that proposition. I, oh, oops, your feet seem to have slipped on. Is that Jeff? Ah, uh, calling me? I, I will be right there, Jeff! <laughs> I'm just gonna... What about that movie? You have 34 new messages. Chuck, it's Casey. Call me. You think this is funny, Chuck? If you don't call me back in the next 10 seconds, I'm gonna... Tie it in a knot and shove it straight up your... Um... How long, how long does this thing take? How, how does Jill pick that exact moment to walk in on this? I mean, what, what, what are the odds? Does, does this, does this give us the antidote? Because I think, I, I feel my, I feel my throat is closing up on me right now. 
What is it? What is it? Flesh eating bacteria or anthrax? Am I gonna die? Nope. You can add ice and give it to little kids to sell on street corners. I knew it. Drugs? It's powdered fruit punch, dumbass. Wait. So not only did we not get the fulcrum list, but Jill's never gonna speak to me again because she caught me naked rinsing off fruit punch with another woman? Mm. Common spy problem. Really? Hey, Jeff. How's it going, man? You all right? I think I'm getting the hang of this customer service thing. This is not a negotiation. Okay, Ratner. Here's how this is gonna go down. Wait, you're our waiter from the restaurant. Man, we really screwed you on the tip. You want into witness protection? Gonna have to scratch our back, too. What do you mean? Those two goons from last night, they don't report back to their boss. He's gonna want to follow up, mate. We're gonna cover that drop. He contact you yet? I'm sorry, but I prefer to deal only with Special Agent Carmichael. The man saved my life last night. Is that right, Special Agent Carmichael? Uh... Huh. It's, it's funny. You should really see me scale buildings with suction cups, because I'm... I'm very good at that. I only dabble in the violence, so. Modesty doesn't suit you, mad dog. M mad dog? Why, wh why do they call him that? Listen, I gotta know where your next meet's at, okay? And I'll ask you real politely, Fine, if it's to protect you, but you don't want to be on the receiving end of Mad Dog Harry's. You know, I got this. I parked in a spot once. This scar reminds me every day. Don't mess with Mad Dog. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna let me ask you one more time. Where's the meat? Look, I don't know, okay? He texts me. That's it. That's all I know. It's all yours, Matt Dog. No, no, I... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Th this, this is him, right now. He's, 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 he's texting me right now. This is him. Okay, he wants to meet tonight. I'm a hostage as a sign of good faith. He says that you should send out a hostage as a sign of good faith. Good God, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh, sorry. My 86-year-old mother is dying of very rare disease. It's leukoplakia. And she needs me. Her bobo. Uh, okay, fine. Send him. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We're sending someone out. We got one hostage coming out, folks. That scoundrel. I bet Bartowski worked out a deal. Yeah. Chuck let Emmett go so he could get better lunch shifts. That bastard selling us down the river, making a sweetheart deal for himself. Guess it's prison rules now. Every man for himself. Ah! Oh my god! Oh! Who's got a phone? Who's got a phone? I need to call my lawyer, I need to call my therapist, I need to call my mother, and I need to call my yogi. Maureen Mitsubishi continued to cover the story at the Burbank Buy More, where it seems a hostage has just been released. I'm Lieutenant Mauser, LAPD. Who are you? I'm the assistant manager, Emmett Milbarge. Mm -hmm. It's two T's, two oh, M's, and two Tell me, tell me, Emmett, yes. uh, wh what's going on inside there? What's going on inside is the greatest sales event of the season. That's right. We have got the best deals in town on all your electronic no, no, needs. No, 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 Emmett, I meant the perk. Is he dangerous? Oh, <laughs> dangerous. The only thing dangerous is how low we have slashed our prices. God bless that man.